Ready. All right, here with Ataya Tedekun after her first round in the Mizuho America's Open. Liberty National, obviously, really iconic course. Um, what did you like about the course today and what was maybe more challenging? I mean, as you see, the wheels is pretty nice. You know, you see the Liberty out there. And then also, I mean, the course is, it's really in a good shape. And then it's, I think, like, first when I stepped, on the course, I think it seemed like a, a lean course more than what in the actual course because like not much tea to, you can see that there out there on the course, but like so windy as well. Um, trying to trying to focus what I have to do with the wind. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you to be able to play on a course like this and like some of the other courses coming up on our schedule? Pebble, Barge Straw. How cool is it to get to play courses sort of that are really well known and iconic? Yeah, um, as a golfer, I can, I think we, you know, we don't play the same court every week. We have to change the the course that we have to play every week that we we have to. So I think it's really challenging to, you know, you don't see the course, you haven't played this course before, and then I love seeing the new course because I, I don't know what's going to, you know, going on there. And then hopefully, I mean, Pepo is one of the, you know, my favorite one that I, I want to be there mm -hmm. and then also we we love playing the you know different type of courses yeah awesome what about this course this week or today I guess suits your game so well and to put up a, a really good performance like you did um like I said the course is pretty windy out here um I think commitment you, you need to have the um you know 100 percent commitment what what you have to to do you have to aim out you know way right or well left to you know to um, make the wind to to help your balls get to the pin so i think pretty much that that's it and then um also the green it's pretty you know slopey yeah. so you have to to know where your your ball landing or where you want but you put your ball on the on the green. Mm -hmm. Last question. You had a good stretch of birdies, like, right off the bat, I think 10, 12, and 13. Um, can you just take us through some of those birdies and how you got off to such of a, a great start? Yeah, I think it's because of not much win, because I started from, from 10 today. Mm -hmm. So not much win on the on when, when I start. So it's like... I think two, it's par five. I mean, like two of them, it's par five, and one is par four. So it's reachable par five on ten. Um, uh, I think most of the people, you know, go for it for in the second shot. So I just go for it and and make two putts. Um, and eleven, oh no, twelve and thirteen. Yep. Yeah, thirteen was a reachable par five as well. Um, just hit it good and then um, had a you know like a. 30 yards pitch like pitch shots there yeah. also 12 I think I, I do like 12 um, layout though it's like okay. it's hard to lay out and you have to decide where you want to go when going right today because of the pin on the left and then yeah kind of you know um, make the moment momentum going for for today mm -hmm. I lied this would be my last question I hear the the course is a little hard. The whole occasions, especially in the back nine, look to be a little tricky. Um, do you like it when the conditions are pretty hard? Do you like a challenge? I'll say I do like easy more than hard. <laughs> I mean, everyone do like easier course more than hard. But like when it's hard, I feel like it's it's another challenging, you know, course or challenging one that you have to play and. You have to really be patient on that. So I think sometimes I do like it. <laughs> sometimes not really when I'm not <laughs> playing well. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Taya. Thank you. Do just a couple and Taya. Just those last.